Hi, my name is Benjamin Schmelz, and this demonstration video is for the blog Meet Red Hat Device Edge with MicroShift. In that blog, we walked through creating a Red Hat Device Edge image that also included MicroShift, and then generated a custom Kickstart file that would install this image onto a device and enable MicroShift at boot so that it's up and running in a zero touch scenario. In the current screen, I want to show that kickstart process for you using the image we created. First, we'll go ahead and set the image on our device. In this case, we're going to use the RHDE-ZTP ISO that we created. Next, we'll go ahead and go to the console of this machine. For our device, we're using a virtual machine here. And we'll go ahead and click the Power On Virtual Machine. You'll notice it boots to the ISO, and the ISO's got the option to do Zero Touch Provisioning Red Hat Device Edge. We'll go ahead and select that. And now the machine will be booting. Depending upon your hardware device, the boot process could take a couple of minutes. Once the boot process is complete, the installer will start. If you're familiar with kickstarts, this will look like the normal behavior. This particular kickstart is an automated installation, so everything will occur automatically. As you can see, the file systems have been created, and now we're starting to pull the actual image we created off of the ISO, and we're deploying it. The finishing scripts run. And then we reboot. So you can see once the system booted up, the imaging process took very little time to get the device prepped. And now we're rebooting into the actual image that we wrote to this device. This particular image is an RPM OS tree image, so it's an immutable image type. And now the system is up. Let's go ahead and log into it. At this point, I know it's going to take about 90 seconds for MicroShift to start. So I'm going to go ahead and type sleep 90, and then after that, I'll do a systemctl status command MicroShift, and now we'll wait those 90 seconds.
As you can see, after the 90 seconds, we did a status on Microshift and it is up and running. We can return back to the blog documentation that you were directed to this video from and you can finish establishing that Microshift is actually running on your device at that point in time. Again, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of imaging a device with the Red Hat Device Edge with Microshift. Thank you.